Microscopic Milton is very small indeed. He lives in a clock on the mantelpiece in the parlour of a house that belongs to a lady named Mrs. Witherspoon. No one knows he's there, apart from Milton's friend Douglas, who spends most of his time asleep in front of the fire, and of course, you. Milton and Douglas were looking out of the window at the moon. Isn't it beautiful, said Milton. I'd love to go there and see what it's really like. I know. I'll build a space rocket tomorrow, he decided, and hurried back to his clock to draw up some plans. Milton found everything he needed to build a space rocket. An old washing-up liquid bottle, some sticky tape, some bits of cardboard, and some bright red paint. Douglas watched as Milton set to work. Before long, the rocket was complete. All I need to do now is pack for the journey, said Milton. Now, let's see. Map, sandwiches, flag. That should do it. He said goodbye to Douglas and tied himself safely into the driving seat, ready for takeoff. Douglas stood back as Milton began the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! shouted Milton. Just then, Mrs. Witherspoon came out into the garden. What's this old bottle doing in my garden? She said to herself and threw it in the dustbin. Oh, said Milton, we have lift off. Suddenly, the dustmen arrived and tipped the rubbish and the rocket into the back of their lorry before setting off to the tip. Douglas was quite concerned and immediately gave chase. Well, I, I, I hope I land soon, thought Milton. This is a very bumpy ride. When they reached the tip, the men emptied the lorry and drove away. Oh, thank goodness I've landed, said Milton. And he climbed out of the rocket to investigate. So, this is the moon he said to himself, as he looked round at the strange landscape. It's not quite what I expected. Then Milton saw something. It must be a moon creature, he thought, and decided to introduce himself. Greetings, said Milton, but the moon creature didn't reply. So Milton gave him a friendly prod. Ah! Oh, that was close, thought Milton. I'd better get back to Earth straight away before any more moon creatures arrive. Milton began the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Just then, Douglas arrived. Ah, there it is, he thought, as he picked up the rocket and carried it safely home. Later that evening, Milton told Douglas all about his adventures on the moon. It was all very exciting, said Milton, but I don't think I'll be going again. Douglas glanced up at the moon. If only he knew, he thought. If only he knew.